We are predetermined to have another destiny. The first year I went, I went to the raspberries. You don't kill yourself a lot like you kill yourself in the strawberry. My first job in the fields was actually beets, cutting tomatoes. And the chili. My older brother Rufino has worked, my sister Lydia has worked, my sister Brissy has worked there, and Alex has worked there. So kind of we all work there. I remember the first day I just started crying so much because I had an epiphany. That's when I realized that I had to pursue college to get my parents out of there. I started school. I didn't know how to speak Spanish or English. I only knew how to speak Mixteco. I knew I was indigenous, but I didn't really know what indigenous meant. Some people, when they call our brothers and sisters indigenous, they feel sad about it. They feel that indigenous is poor people with no civilization, nothing. We're from the region La Mixteca Baja. That's where we're from. We came to this country to pave new roads, to build better, better communities for ourselves. My mom's eyes and hopes are on me right now because I was the one who she came here for. If I don't accomplish something, I feel like I'm just letting her down. Stand up straight, Vasquez. You apply for your college shit? Yes, sir. Washington State University. I really want to go off to another state because I want to be an individual on my own. <laughs> Having to pick between the farm or or going to school. Something that I've struggled with a lot is feeling guilty for leaving my family. If you're willing to begin a new journey, but without forgetting your culture, you have to do that. If I strengthen myself, like myself, and go back, I can do a lot more. We have to create a new life here, new art, new writing stuff, new, new stories, different. It's going to be hard pursuing your dreams as an indigenous woman of color, but of course I am. And even because you question that, I will do it even harder. <laughs>